Hello, this is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV, and today we have Choying Hun, yes. who's going to be speaking to us about Repe and his um, shamanic practice. So tell us a little bit more about Repe. All right. Hey, thanks for the invite, um, Julie. So Rape is a shamanic uh, plant medicine made up of um, tree ashes, um, seeds, herbs, flowers. So all of those are very, very ancient shamanic tribes. And traditionally, they actually use, um, put those very, very small powder, very intensive work by the um, tribes or by the shamans. And you put in the pipe and actually you blow it into the nose itself. And the experience working with that through meditations is actually, from my personal experience, is anchoring in the higher vibration of energy. In other words, um, basically connect to your higher self. And as you sit and meditate with it, it works with you internally, aligning, releasing blockage entities, um, anything that you might need to work in on the vis physical aspect or emotional. And as you exhale, uh, you're basically really transmuting lower vibrational energy. And it, it's going to help you balance your body, your, your emotions. Uh, it's as simple as that. Very, very gentle and also very, very powerful. Usually the medicine itself lasts anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes. And if if you have a lot of work that you need to be, um, for example, like letting go, and the medicine sometimes allow you to sit a little bit longer, even uh, one hour, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's um, anybody that never experienced it before or first time or even a long-term shamanic practitioner that have worked with plant medicines is a very, very great tool to integrate. So I personally use it on my daily meditations. I always set an intention, a sacred space. And from there, a lot of the time, I don't just start with rape. It's not the first thing I go to. I sit for about five to 10 minutes of meditation, set my intention to, see, to really feel and see what do I want to work with today? What does a plant want to teach me or support me today on my daily life? And what's going on? You know, a lot of times our minds always, our egos are seeking a solution. We're seeking some type of way to solve either a relationship, career, a business, you know, or something that we, we have a, um, being out in nature. What is, we, we always try to have a knowledge, a wisdom, and, and even more love and more acceptance. So all of this is just a, the loop, a program that we run through our daily life since the very beginning of birth, right, through learning. But, um, and back to the plan is I always ask it, <clears throat> excuse me, ask it to support me, to teach me, to guide me. So okay. that way I can work with my higher self, work with my ego and merge with my heart, you know, and allow all that wisdom and compassion to come out, you know, rather than just trying to do something that make me feel better or relax. So it's not a really a recreational type of plant medicine or, or we call it drugs <clears throat> you know even though it's, uh, it looks and and sometimes the looks of it by putting medicine and blowing up the nose it's just in the western world is a very very uh, we label like drugs you know something to get high yeah, I, but, I don't I prefer plant medicine absolutely and that's what I want to share with people I want to I should bring this out and it's not for me to teach anybody it's for the plant to teach others. And the spirit of the plant. What plant exactly, what plant mixtures in this mixture? What plants? Um, a lot of, um, I don't have a detail offhand, but I know uh, where I get it from. A lot of them are based on tribes and they are listed so many different types of plants. Oh, so I'm beginning okay. research and, and look up to what are the benefits of it, you know? Uh-huh, okay, wow. That sounds very interesting, and you're coming to Colorado in uh, yes. June. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time going to be down in Grand Junction, right? Yes, Grand Junction. So I'm very excited, and I'm looking forward to work with many people, and, and we all learn collectively. We all share energetically. We all share informations. We all support each other, 
and we need this in the world. I'm real excited about it too. It's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what else can you tell us about your work? Do you do anything by webcam? Uh, yes, I do a lot of uh, meditation coaching online. So I offer like myself um, teaching people the very basic fundamental of meditations all the way to the nature of the mind. So that way they can actually start very, very easy, simple to uh, focus meditations all the way to analytical thinking and slowly changes the habit, changes some kind of whatever they seek in internally to go deeper and deeper in a gentler way. And then also allow them, if they choose to, they can even integrate some of the plant medicine for themselves. Okay. And where, uh, where are you online if somebody wants to sign up for those classes? Um, I don't have a website right now, but um, okay. I can give uh, them the contact through you. They can reach oh. out to you. Well, they can contact you at the shamanicarts.studio website. Absolutely. So, that would be yeah. great. He is one of our traveling shamans. So if you want to uh, contact him, just do that through uh, shamanicarts.studio. Thank you. There, you have a website. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, what, what else can you tell us? How did you get uh, interested in this kind of work? So a little bit back in 2015, um, you know, I went down to um, Peru. Mm -hmm. And of course, I uh, did the uh, winter retreat and did ay ayahuasca, uh -huh. right? So everybody knows about ayahuasca, the uh, master plant teachers. And from there, um, it's opened up so much integration for me. It was very, very hard very, very difficult, but also very profound. And from oh. there, coming back to the reality of the, this world, work, family, um, you know, career, all of this is beginning to finding, again, I'm finding myself, I'm searching for myself. Why, why am I here, right? Right. And, and I work with different shamans, uh, done different plans and, and from there um, Rape when I first was introduced to Rape it was so much intensity um, the energy of the plant was so much intensity I could not even handle myself you wow. know it was that powerful and from there I, I talked to the the shaman here that I'm friends with and you know she go yeah you can get this and, and start integrating some of this stuff yourself and do some of the work and that's it that's when wow. I just do my meditation. I begin work with it. You know, I work with it, allow it, and it helps me to let go of things that really don't serve me. Right. Wow. Okay. So anybody, and it's legal, so anybody can get a hold of it. Absolutely. You buy your mixtures. I buy it uh, online, and I can share that if someone want to reach out. Okay. You know, and. Um, Basically, Abiza Online is from also Peru and Brazil, and they actually, the what they sell is from actual local tribes. So we are supporting the native out there, you know, oh, the, the shamans, great. the tribes. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I like that idea. And you are you you're bringing someone with you, right? When you come? Absolutely. I have a great friend, also a shamanic healer, and she does a plant medicine and her name is Courtney. So she will be coming with me along. Both of us will be actually doing a ceremony with Rape and what she's doing, which I know very little about. And, you know, uh, she will be actually tremendous supporting and sharing is cocoa medicine. It's um, cocoa plant medicine. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to interview her so we can put Absolutely. her interviews up and and uh, get people to come to these ceremonies because they're going to be powerful, I think. It is. All right. Well, that is fabulous. What have I? What have you else would you like us to know? Um, very simple. You know, for me, is anybody wants to really understand the nature of the mind, you know, they can reach out for meditations. You know, absolutely, they want to integrate this uh, plant medicine. You know, I can kind of work with them online and guide them through it. You know, how to use it, you know, where to get them, 
you know, what, what, how to set your intentions, you know, it's all about being open, you know, open up your heart, set your intentions. And that is the key for anything we do. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. And we're looking so much forward to June. It seems like a long way, but. Absolutely. And thank you for the invite. You know, this is going to be an amazing time. So I'm looking forward to see you, meeting you, and everybody else. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Julie.